Hi everybody, I'm back. So, I have in front of you partially completed ICM Standard B Liberty Truck from World War I. Um, so far the build is going okay. I've had some issues and I'm gonna show you um, what those were. Just give you an idea as to, you know, kind of what I've been dealing with. Uh, but other than that, uh, it's it's been okay, like I said. But um, none of this is actually glued together yet, as you can see, as this uh, fell apart. But just give you an idea of what this looks like. And, like I said, this comes apart. So there's that. This actually went together pretty well. I'm rather happy with the results on this. And um, ended up using, um, it's supposed to be an olive green, so I ended up using This, olive green. And then once I start weathering it up, it'll tone it down a little bit. Oops, I'll take that off. There we go. I have more work to do, obviously, on the cab. For the drivers, a little bit more work on the seat, got to put the steering wheel in, touch up a few areas, and there you go, there's the cab, the hood, or bonnet I guess, for you guys in England. Now the chassis, like I was saying in the first video, this kit is 90% chassis work. And, um, let me get some light down here real quick. There's the engine. Everything mounts into the radiator. wheels and I will be weathering this up a little bit I do have a diorama idea for this so <clears throat> I'm gonna end up uh, definitely making it look like it's been in France and muddy and everything else but um, I want to go over a couple of the issues that I had with this. Um, first one, you may not be able to see it too well. Let me grab my little pointing stick. And I was going to show this on the, uh, see if we can see it here. There's the fan that's in here. You see where the fan belt goes over here on this side here? All right, now I'm gonna show you the instructions. You notice here on the instructions, it says to attach this, the pulley for the fan to this port right here, this little section. Well, that's what I did. And when I put the fan, or when I attempted to put the engine in, it wouldn't fit because this was getting in the way of one of the brackets down in the bottom. So I ended up pulling the engine back out and I couldn't figure out what was holding it up. And I kept looking at this and you here you really can't see where this kind of looks like the engine is or the fan is straight up and down on it. But you get over here, you look at this right here 
Now suddenly the belt for the fan is over in this corner. And I ended up going online and ended up finding a, uh, a blog where they were rebuilding one of these trucks. And I was actually able to find this and did find out that it did indeed go into this section over here, not over here like this states. This part is actually the crankshaft for starting the engine. So it had one of those turn cranks, you know, like you see in, you know, old tractors and things like that. Well, that's what that is. So there was an issue. I'm gonna show you another issue. Do you see this piece right here? Okay. When I first put this on and this all lined up, this was at a steep, angle and when I put the engine in these two things wouldn't match up this was actually like pointing towards the camera so I ended up having to pull all this back apart and kind of loosely glue this in place. And then I finally got this to the point where this is actually closer than it was before. The I attempted to try to readjust this again, but it won't work. And I attempted to try to just kind of get this to match up and it won't work. It actually bends the frame left and puts a bulge in it. So it's just gonna have to stay this way. I'm not sure how to fix this. So it's just gonna live that way. Um, if anybody's got an idea as to how I might be able to fix this, you know, go ahead, drop something in the comments about it. But um, so there's a few, few build issues with this and plus some of the things that I had mentioned before, the directions are not the clearest on these. The pictures don't match what's actually supposed to happen. Um, so that's been a problem up to this point. Uh, but I am now past the main section, which was, like I said, 90% of this kit is the chassis and the engine. Now that I'm actually past that, uh, it's just a matter of finishing this up and painting the uh, canvas tarp that goes over the back. Painting the canvas tarp here, the tarp over the top of the drivers, and uh, just a few add-on um, railings and little grab points and things like that that I have to add but I need to get the rest of this done. Um, and then I'll start weathering it up and all that kind of fun stuff. So it's not too much left. There'll probably be one more video, uh, probably like a final reveal once I get everything uh, put together and uh, painted and weathered. The only real shame is that you won't see the engine at all. Despite all the work that I've done on it, once it's closed up, you're not going to see it anymore, but I did it and you get to see it now. That'll be the last time anybody ever sees that engine again. All right. That's all I got. I hope everybody's doing well and uh, everybody have a wonderful weekend and a great coming week. Please stay healthy and safe. And I want to thank all of my new subscribers for joining up. Please comment, like, and share the video if you feel it's worthy, and I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.